Hello everyone and today I'm going to teach you how to encrypt or decrypt any file. It can be a video file, it can be an audio file, it can be emails, it can be a text, it can be a word document, any type of file it will work and also you can set a custom integer key. So we are going to be using something called Caesar cipher algorithm and in that algorithm you read the file character by character and you just shift the character by the key. Now now if the key is 12 and as you know 65 is ASCII code for A and if you add the key in it, it will become 65 plus 12 if the key is 12. So to start with, I have a setup over here. I'm using a stream and F stream for reading and writing file and Konyo and I'm also using namespace std in our main method. I have integer variable ANS that's just for scanning if they want to encrypt a file or decrypt the file using the same program and I'm scanning in the answer and I'm just setting here a if else statement if the answer is one then they encrypt the file so we have to read the file name over here so we will not do it in the if else statement we will just do it after we ask them for encryption or decryption so we are gonna see how to enter file name and we are gonna create a new string variable we will name it in and we will scan the string variable over here and also we are gonna ask for the key here itself so i'm gonna declare a new integer variable called key and i'm also gonna scan that so i will just copy this and paste that and change c into key key and i will type key over here enter key now in encryption process we have to add the key to the character value means the ascii code so we do that by creating a input stream and a output stream so we will take an input from input stream which user has entered so let's create a char variable over here name it anything you want i'm naming it c and then you have to create an input stream and name it anything you want i'm gonna name it fn and then a output stream of stream i'm gonna name it f out and now we are gonna open the input file so you have to type fn dot open and press enter now it will ask us for input file name we can give it the user inputted text with file extension so we have to give it the in the string in variable which we have scanned from user and we are assuming that it has the extension with it so just press in dot c underscore s t r and press a comma and now we are gonna read the file character by character so for that we have to type ios colon colon binary once we do that you can give a semicolon and now we have to create an output file so what i'm gonna do is set in equal to output and then we can create a output stream fout dot open and we have to do the same thing we can copy the parameters inside here and now here is the main part we have to start a while loop till f in has content in it so we will do exclamatory f in dot e o f and this will run till f in has data in it we will scan f in into c but we will not scan it normally we will scan it without any skip like we skip spaces we skip new lines but we will not skip this time so for that i'm gonna type no skip w s and this will not skip anything in the file and once we scan it in c we can create a temporary variable tmp and set it equal to c plus key this will add key to c 
and key can be any value and um, the content which will be printed in output file will be random stuff which photo viewer or file viewer cannot view only the notepad can view but it will be random stuff it doesn't matter much now we have to write the temp variable as character in output file so we do f out and that and put the brackets and type char in it and type t e m p so this will put temp as a character in there now we close the both files for saving them so type f in dot close and then type f out dot close and uh, this will encrypt the file but now we have to decrypt the file so you have to just copy this and paste it in over here and the only thing you have to change is here the output should be changed to some other name cause it will override the file which it is reading so we don't want that i will change it to something like that and the thing you have to change is change plus to minus over here remove the key from the character and print the temp character as it was originally so this should work and we have to compile this now and looks like i have used a capital s over here i should use small s and we can compile this actually i didn't used conio.h you can remove it if you want but for now we will use our program now i have a file explorer open over here and you can see i have a image of lighthouse over here which is from windows sample images so it's jpg you can go to properties and find it find its name so just go just type here one it will encrypt the file and now you can type lighthouse dot jpg as you can see the file format over here and in theory this should encrypt the file or uh, i will enter the key as 456 and now you can see the output file and if i open it it will ask me for program to open it with and if i open it can it says this thing and it can't read the file now if we run the program again and we choose 2 and we enter the file name as output and it has no file format so just press enter and it will ask for key enter the key as 456 you can enter whatever you want and if the key is correct i should be able to view this file open and now as you can see the file is as original as it is so this is the file name over here and this is the original file so as you can see they are both pretty much the same and that was it for today's video so hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you like share and subscribe and if you want to continue watching my videos then make sure you click the video that's showing up on the screen and goodbye